So everything I'm walking on at the moment is all Malachite. It looks like part of the hill, but it's not. It's all Malachite. It's all a nice flat area. This mine's a huge big one. Yep. In the mountains. So this is all Malachite. This was a pretty big mine back in the day. So the entrance is all the way over there with that little black little dotties that you can see. One of the big ones, this one. There's a bit of rail here. A little bit of rail. On the floor. There's a little poly pipe. The drainage. I'm going to get a bit of a split here. You can go this way. And you can go this way. Go this way. Race. A bit of turn here, some stacked up rock, backfill. A few old little bits of relic. I'd say that was possibly a winds, it's now underwater. And as you can see there's those rotten timbers there. That's why you don't go into Wet mines with a stick in front of you. For that very reason. An old tin. Oxidising agent. Hmm. I hear water up there. I'll have a look up here. Some electrical cord. Very nice quartz race. Made in nitrate. Bag. <laughs> What's left in here? This mine's been reworked. Uh, oh, a bit wet. A little bit flat. A bit of a rise up there. Just dripping down. Uh, keep going. Some old oil cans and whatnot. Continue on. Go this way now. I don't think this way goes very far. Garden hose. Yeah, it goes a fair bit. Garden hose. More, more remaining nitrate bags. Empty, of course. Some tin. Back in the corner a bit. More backfill drives. Oh, bit of a split here. Two ways. This way, as I'm told. Yep, that's the end up there. Alright, so we're back to that junction again. Off the other junction, where we just come from, over there. I'm heading back up. That past the waterfield winds. What's left of it? I think it would have been backfield. Safety. And, uh, yeah. There's a metal box here. Some flu. Yeah, you can poke your finger right through it. Soft as butter. Rotten timbers. When they get like that, they're pretty useless for holding up the roof. So you just need to be careful. Some things like that. the junction. Should we go this way? I think we should go this way. Then we'll go straight ahead. Then run. Smells like sulfide already. A little bit of stoke, not, not that big, but uh, I don't like water past my gun boots. Let's have a look. And more broken timbers on the way. Yeah, I'm not keen on getting wet feet today. It's pretty cold outside. There's some broken timbers up further and I'm back with waders. And you're going up that other way. Up the main, up the main tunnel now. Across the little river flowing, more backfield. Oh, 
several backfield drives here. We got one there on the side, another open one here, another bit just behind me. Nice stone wall stacked. Let's go this way. This is all the same mine complex, by the way. It's not like, you know, having just stopped stop the video and then going into another mine. Big, big stope. Stope's like a big area that's been taken out. As you can hear, it's all hollow. As you can see, it's all going above my head. Continue on this way. See what else is here. So, back at the back at the main tunnel. There's the entrance down there, that little dot. Continue going on. Some more backfield drives. Shower anyone? <laughs> yeah, another drive off the side. Let's see where that one goes in a minute. We'll do that on the way back. The camera's running low on the battery after all the other ones I've been to. So we're right at the end of this one. So we're gonna make our way back. Before we do, we're gonna have a look down these other side drives. That's pretty big this mine. There's some more flue, old steel flue. That's all been backfilled. Where's the other one going? These are all GA tags, I'd say. I wonder where this poly pipe ends up. Oh, another cross. No, no, just a little cut. Side cut. A few turns and twists. Turns and twists. Zigzags. And a side drive. Little twists and bits. Left and right, left and right. Back and round. It's almost like they got lost on the ground looking for their gold. <laughs> wow, this is a long way. I think I've walked over the best part of 800 metres of the tunnel already, and it's still going. There you go, someone's been here in This is a lot of poly pipe. Ah, here we go. Little brick wall. Still going. A little side cut again. I guess I'll just keep following this pipe. For a while. <laughs> um, a bit of a split here. I don't know if I want to go down there or down here. We'll go this way. We'll keep following the pipe so we know our way. Wow, the pipe goes to a collapse. Unfortunately, it goes up in the air a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if it wasn't, if it wasn't collapsed. Some more air pipe. Hmm. I wonder what the little dam was for. Three pipes coming out. Strange one. So that's still dry with some old air pipe in there, steel air duct. There's 
one I almost tipped over. PVC fittings weren't around the 1800s, were they? Yeah, it's definitely been reworked, this one. And that's it on there. It would have been good to see where that poly pipe went. It's past the collapse anyway. Anyway. Definitely have to come back to this one because it's huge. It'll take me almost a day to explore it. Carbonate, same stuff that you find in caves. Really nice stuff, nice looking stuff. Same stuff your bones are made of as well. And phosphorus. Another junction. Man, this mine's huge. It's got junction after junction after junction. Look at that little mini cave. How cool is that? system. Ah, do I see rails? Yeah, old wooden rails. No, steel, they are, they're steel. Steel, steel rails. And uh, that's the end. It's ah. a bit disappointing. Rails to nowhere. Down here then. Oh, why to get caught up on? Does it go around the corner? I wonder. Yes, it does. It's just endless. Tell you what, it's almost the almost the second biggest mine I've been in. We go past that big dangerous winds again. The wind is basically a like a shaft in the floor. And they're very dangerous because you don't know like this one, they fill with water and you don't know it until you get to it. But it's best to always probe the ground with a metal pole as you go. I think I do know why they put that dam there. For future people who, like me, might come along. Yeah. Looks like there's a manway there too. There's a ladder or something in there. Just see the top of it. Yeah. Yep, 
So, heading back out now. I wonder how deep it is. Anyone want to go scuba diving? That's your place. <laughs> back into the big stoat. Not that big, but fairly big. Have been bigger. Follow the poly pipe back up, out and home. Oh, you see that tinge of blue in that? I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of tinge of blue in that. There's copper in amongst, in amongst the rock here. It gives it that blue tinge. It's interesting. You ever see blue in, in, in the mines? It's usually copper deposits. On the way out now. Now yeah, this big dark mine. There you go, someone else has been in 1979. 1950, is it? It's like 1950. 2007. Maybe, yeah, 2007. Yeah, certainly a big one. Oh, there we go. RG, 1979. What else was I say? 1950. There we go. Someone was here in 1950. Hmm. 1993. Yeah. Volga City. So we're back outside.